Hey everyone, back again for another 100 Days of No Code Community Digest. You know the drill by now, but if you don't, um, we're going to be looking at what happened last week, what is the good stuff that's going to be happening next week, and of course some niggly bits um, that you should know before you go. So last week a lot happened, as you can tell by this slide that looks a little bit uh, crunched. Um, so firstly we had the launch of our new uh, cohort, which is going to be happening before the end of the year. Uh, we've already had 51 signups and the details are going to be released um, soon on when it's going to be starting and some of the curriculum that it's involved. But if you want to know more about that, check out the launch uh, thread or tweet um, in the email below. Secondly, we had free no co projects launched um, from within the community. The first one from Natalie Furness, who launched uh, Freelance Notion, which is a operating system um, for freelancers uh, to use to organize their work, monetize, etc. Um, secondly, we had, um, let me check the name before I butcher it, Quest Gen, which is a tool that generates worksheets and questionnaires from text that you put in to the system, all from uh, AI. And that was built with Pelterian and Bubble. Um, so if you're interested in that, check it out. And then also we had a project launched by Kevin Chong, um, all around using Twitter meaningfully. Um, so if you're struggling to use Twitter, leverage it to its fullest capacity, um, then definitely check out that guide. Okay, so moving on, we also had someone that finished the 100 days of no code, that being Michael Passau, who's absolutely smashed it out of the park um, with 10 plus um, no code projects that he's built in that spell, as well as learning um, a ton of different no code tools. So safe to say that he is a uh, an example that you want to follow if you're going to start your own 100 days soon. Then we had a batch of new joiners to the community. So I would love to welcome uh, Shalendra, Mark, Judy, Adam, Josh, Jason and Karen um, into the community. It's so good to have you here. Um, if you need any help in your first few weeks, uh, just let me know or ping uh, some of our other members and I'm sure they're happy to, to help you get settled in. And then lastly, uh, we had a couple of freelance um, ops in the uh, the no code space. So if you're looking for some work in no code, then listen up. Um, firstly, we have one on content. So if you want to start creating content around no code, um, there's a tool called Soft Tools that have got a position vacant. Um, so that could be one to check out. It's part time. The details are in the Ask an Office channel. Um, and secondly, Sam Tefera, um, who's in the community, is looking for someone to help him finish off his bubble project. So if you're experienced in bubble and want a bit of dosh, then definitely um, reach out to him and he's going to be posting details soon, again, in the asks and offers channel. OK, moving on. Now, what is new next week? We we are going to have a workshop with Mark Fletcher on APIs and how you can start leveraging them to um, uh, level up your, your, your no-code projects. So definitely come along if you want a, uh, a workshop that's in plain English, that's definitely not as scary as API sound and a really nice introduction into um, leveraging uh, the power of them. So definitely come along to that. Again, the Zoom link and the times in this email. And before you go, um, please don't forget to jump into Slack uh, to be making the most of all the resources and people in there um, exchanging feedback with each other. Definitely fill in your profile on Slack as well. Otherwise, no one will know you're in the community. Also, you can now host your own events. Um, so if you want to test out some new content or just have a burning desire to share your wisdom and your knowledge on a topic that you're really um, quite proficient in, then please um, pop in uh, uh, that event in the, the form in this email. And lastly, um, definitely add our shared calendar, otherwise you will not be able to see all the cool events happening um, across the community. So. Uh, 
have a wonderful week, everyone. Um, really excited to see what people are building um, and creating in the next week. And uh, let me know if you need anything. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.